Welcome to our online res worship resources for the Lutheran Church of St. John. This Sunday, our congregation is starting a, a, a series of messages that will focus on celebration. Because honestly, it's time to celebrate. It's been a long few months, isn't it? There have been very difficult times that we faced, frustrations, fears, violence, division. It's not been easy. And the world and God's people need a reason to celebrate. And the good news is we have that reason to celebrate. Because even over the past few months, God has been present and working in our lives and in our midst. Our church is reopen. Our uh, things are going well. God is with us. And we have every reason to celebrate. And so it's time. It's time to celebrate. We celebrate most of all because of God's presence with us. And that's why we begin in his name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We celebrate the forgiveness of sins that we receive in Jesus Christ. And that causes us to come before him with a prayer of confession. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you, there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. In his mercy, Almighty God has given his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you and to forgive you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the working of your Holy Spirit, grant that we may gladly hear your word and it would turn our hearts to praise and thanksgiving for all you have accomplished through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading for today comes from Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Yes, the Lord has done great things for us. and We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. This is the word of the Lord. Our Old Testament reading is from Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse number 17. If you joined us the last couple of weeks, you might remember that in, in the last couple of weeks, Jesus was sending his disciples out into the world to share his gift of compassion, to proclaim the good news, to heal the sick, to work in the lives of people who were hurting. These verses in Luke chapter 10 recount when those disciples return home and the joy they had in their heart over all that had been accomplished while they were gone. Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse number 17. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And Jesus replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written 
in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord.